Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. In this tutorial, we are going to talk about how to use Zoho projects for beginners. So let's get started. As you can see on the screen, we are looking at zohoprojects.com. And if you search Zoho projects uh, on Google, the first thing you will find that once you click on that, you will end up over here. But before we go further in this tutorial, I want to tell you like what it is, like what Zoho project is all about, why it is so important from like other uh, monday.com and other project management tools because there are so many features which is available for different tools and uh, it is available over here so let's get started let me tell you what it is all about like if you you know we all know that zoho project is a cloud-based project management tool and it is designed to help team plan tracking and collaboration on projects efficiently it offers a wide range of features including task management and uh, you know document sharing time tracking and collaboration tools making it suitable for a variety of industries and project types we have task management we have document collaboration we have time tracking and the most important which we will talk about at the bottom you will find that over here as you can see we have features and here we will find gantt charts this is one of the best features out there and you can use it on zoho gantt charts is all about visualizing project timelines and dependencies using gantt charts so it's one of the best features out there which zoho provides you and other collaboration tools by the way but we will talk about this later on and you can see we have like create and edit dependencies if you want you can see over here on the right side this is how it looks like once you start working on it identify critical tasks you can also do that this is one of the best way to you know look at uh, you know your project pro progress in my opinion so without wasting any more of our time we can start right away from the top right corner obviously we have some pricing which we will talk about this later on and yes we have some uh, free plan also there so which we are going to use by the way so we can just click on get started and it would take you right over here and you just need to mention your company name your business email your password and the last one just click on sign up for free or you can use other platforms like google uh, linkedin and microsoft so i'm gonna log in with my google account so once you create your account you will end up over here here you can see you're one step away from getting started with zoho projects just click on get started for free and wait for a while it would take some few seconds not that much just let's wait for a while and start loading up i guess yes and here we are so here what you are going to do you are going to enter your industry uh, like which industry you belong to obviously we have contact number we have uh, interested in enterprise trial if you want to go for that you can also do that no payment or credit card details required so just remember that we have size of the team with how many team members are there in your industry so you can go with this so let's just fill them out and let's i'm gonna click on get started later on once you entered all the details you will end up over here this is the screen where you can start right away like as you can see on the top they are asking for you like where would you like to start so we have four options over here like import from other application if you have been using a different platform like monday.com for your project uh, you know tools you can also uh, import from other applications you can go with this we have explore you know sample project you can go with this with this one also create your own project and uh, we have like last one product pro so you can go either all of this one or just click on uh, you know bottom right corner just click on skip once you click on skip you will end up over here they are ask also going to navigate you where is your cus uh, project custom view you can go either go with this one or just click on skip at the bottom right corner so I'm going to click on skip and this is the place where you will end up. This is a dashboard of project, you know, Zoho project management. And I'm going to disable uh, notification for now because I'm not going to use it for often. But this is how it looks like. So the first option we can see over here, we have home screen. And then once you click on that, this is more like a dashboard here. You will see your all tasks going on. We have all the issues uh, happening in our industry. We can see all over here. We have my work items due today we have my overdue work items so you can see all the structure over here milestones will be over here uh, my team sheet and i think you can move it right away yes you can also move it like if you want to take this up you can also do that so we have all tasks over here we have all issues over here tasks for my team members if you have a team you can add team from over here just click on this and you can easily add your team from over here we can add their email from over here we have team lead we can choose them right away once you add their uh, add your team members and we have associate progress and team email uh, so after that just click on add so you can just uh, check this like notify added users so you can also go for this i think this is good and uh, once you're done with this just click on add once you add them you will find them over here 
we have the last thing which is issues for my team members so that you will find them over here so this is the home page where you can see all the issues and uh, all the tasks happening and at the top this is the you know short version of all of these and we have at the bottom we have live chat on the bottom right corner as you can see you can use that if you want and uh, on the left side we have more options like feed what is going on on the feed and uh, if, if people are doing work or not and other team members what they are doing right now activity stream if they are going hap are happening on you know you get the idea like uh, someone is exploring Zoho project so they, you can see that over here we have status how many people are there uh, and who, how many people are quiet right now so you, you get the idea all the options are available over here we have discussions over here like normally you can just easily click on new conversation add the title select the project specifically and just add that so after that we have reports and this is where you find your Gantt reports. So, so I was talking about Gantt reports earlier and Gantt reports is one of the best feature out there. You cannot find this on different platforms, especially Monday.com and other platforms. You will not find this. Why? Because Gantt chart is actually a visual representation of a project scheduling and it shows the start and finish dates of a different element of a project. In Zoho projects, uh, Gantt charts provides a graphical view of tasks and their dependencies offering insights into project timelines you can you know uh, task dependencies and timeline visualization drag and drop editing resource allocation progress tracking in short uh, zoho project is a very versatile project management tool and uh, obviously it's granted and uh, chart functionality it enhances project planning visualization and helping teams to stay on contact so this is one of the best features out there and this is the visualization as you can see on the left side we have written in you know and on the right side we have visualization right now accordingly so you get the idea how Gantt chart works if you click on this arrow we have more options like resource utilization and we have project tasks we have task reports if you have been doing so if you want to assign the task so obviously you just need to click on task it will take you right over here and if you want to add a task click on the top right corner this is the Kanban view by the way you can change the Kanban view from over here you can go with the plain one if you want you get the idea how it works we have a classic one and the uh, last one which is Kanban which most people use by the way so you can just add task form over here project select the project you want to add task name and task description if you want to add more you can also do that from over here and obviously you can add description with variety of uh, you know features you can use over here and after that just click on add once you click on add it would seem something like this and you can just move it around if uh, if, if it's in you know open tasks right now you can use it and if you're working on it just drag it over here this is the in progress cancel or in review and obviously you can add more options on at the top if you want to add and uh, here are you know you can see uh, options task list if you want to close that you can also do that we have project list so everything is open right now if you want to close them you can just click on this we have calendars so you can assign everyone related to you know scheduling from over here right away so if i want to assign someone on 15 november i can just click on that and even title even the date and the scheduling i can set it up the location and if it's going to repeat or not just just like that yes or not it's all on you just click on save so you get the idea there's a lot of versatility in zoho projects and they are providing you we have projects last one and you will see all the projects over here and if you want to create new one just click on the top right corner and you can see we have task layout we have group names if you want to add a group uh, we have scheduling we have templates we have description all the necessary things which we needed for you know project but all of this is available in zoho project free plan if you want to upgrade and let me show you now which is the last thing is pressing plan and I'm going to open pricing plan as you can see over here this is a pricing plan and the first one which we were using and only up to three users can use this version so this is the downfall in my opinion and uh, but for the starter I think this is one of the best out there you can create only two projects we have 5 GB of storage space and we have some options over here like task management Gantt charts uh, project feeds and calendar and in my opinion if you're starting up I think this is one of the best features out there but other than that you can see we have premium and enterprise and I, I don't think this these ones are very bad because you can use it for 10 days trial by the way and after that you have to pay five dollar per user per month so every single user every individual user have to pay five dollar to keep in you know in this premium plan we have unlimited projects 20 projects 
template and 100 GB of storage and other features out there which you can choose accordingly. So Zoho projects is one of the best and versatile project management tool out there. I hope you like this video. I hope you understand every single thing. Thank you so much for watching this video. Bye bye and take care.